2021 was the toughest year either of us had ever been through. Mm -hmm. And um, and something else totally, you know, more unexpected as a result of of what we went through is, you know, you learn you learn a lot from watching other people that you're close with go through things. And something that um, that really occurred to me, and, and I know it occurred to her too, is it's just like the 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 limited time you have here with mm. the people that you love, and how suddenly things can happen. And so, of course, I see that you know my parents are still here, and it's like, and I was so grateful to that. And of course, it, you know, I'm making more of an effort to be like. All right, I gotta, I gotta reach out. I gotta spend more time, you know. And we were good before, but now I'm, I'm being more intentional, you know. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to, you know, like rub it in her face or, or try to like, haha, look what I'm doing that you didn't get a chance to do or, mm. or anything like that. Because it had that experience not happened, I wouldn't you know, be able to do it. But it, it, it was this weird, this weird thing to navigate. Cause it's like, I have to be sensitive to you. And it's like, she comes before everything, mm -hmm. you know? And, and so it's like, well, how do we, how do we handle this? That's another gift of grief, right? Is, is that it gives, it actually gives time too. You know what I mean? It gives life as well because you, you start making better decisions and you start engaging more with the people you love and holding yourself mm -hmm. more accountable to your relationships and the people that you love. And it's like, it, it's it's very much, um, it's corrective in that way too. Mm -hmm. um, and I also had to be mindful of his grief because I lost my parents a day apart from each other. Yes, and that seems crazy. And it is kind of crazy, but it was meant to be. Um, but then I don't know what it's like to lose a sibling or at least someone who was like a sibling to me. I don't mm -hmm. I don't know what that's like. So I we had to have conversations all the time, like checking in with each other about it. And I had to say, like, hey, I want to be that safe place for you. I want you to be able to talk to me about what you're feeling, because things are think you you're not gonna be able to predict it. It's a roller coaster that keeps changing. The track keeps changing. Mm -hmm. Um, but but I, I might be triggered by your loss and, and I'm going to apologize in advance for that. But that doesn't mean I don't want to hear from you. It doesn't mm -hmm. mean that I don't want you to talk to me, even though I'm triggered. And the same with him. And that, that we, you know, we had to learn that. And, and we had to learn that there are moments where this is going to be uncomfortable to break up this sort of like moment we're having. But I got to say this because... Mm -hmm. um, I'm having a moment all of a sudden and I just need to talk about it and cry real quick and get it out and same. And so we will stop mm -hmm. time, if you will, and just be like, okay, let's have this moment. Yeah. Let's, let's be here and, and, yeah. and have this moment together. Um, which is not easy to do, no. especially when you're busy. 